Hi, it's me again with the credit script. Uh, one of my most popular projects is this credit script. And I was going through it, and I decided it wasn't up to my par. So, I've gotten better at coding, so I redid this. Uh, we have this big introductory here. You can see the updated version uses more adaptable code. So you can put in as many credits as you want, and it doesn't matter. So like here, you're not limited to the four or one or however you want to do it. You can put in as many as you want. Now we use a dictionary too. So as you can see this here, it's dictionaries. So you don't have to worry about the right index numbers. You, you don't have to make sure. You don't have to worry about what's it called? Composer being at index number one in the list. It could be anywhere you want. Uh, also it uses higher abstractions so you can read it better ish if my horrible programming doesn't immediately ruin that and the current version of psych because I noticed a lot of people were having issues with the psych version because they changed something in Lua so yeah we now have an official options table too which means there's a official no credits thing and it just shows now playing and now one of the biggest things too is that if there's a song that doesn't have the song data for it it'll just use the no credits it's definitely not coded as well as i wanted to i kind of threw it together but if it works it works <clears throat> so let's start here on our song data table this is the main table that contains all the credits like all the direct credits so each song we have the same thing you're gonna have the song name which is the display name. So up here, this needs to be the direct, the direct JSON name, like in your files, this needs to be the JSON name. This is important because that's how it's ran through the entire game. Song name is actually how you want it to be displayed. So if you don't want dashes and stuff like that in your thing, this is why. Length is however you want to, how long you want it to stay up. This is, so this is length. <coughs> Box color is what the color of the box is text color pretty self-explanatory color of text now this new thing credits which is a table this is what's it called this is uh this is all the credit rules that you're doing it's not going to be in order exactly it might it might not i hate lua sometimes uh so as you can see you just so the first option would be what's the name of the thing like what's the name of the role so it show as blank colon name and then the other one's the name so that's all that you can input as many as you want i don't i personally don't recommend anything more than five then it starts getting weird it's not made for more than like five so personally recommend it not not good for five but you know what i'm saying so first of all, we have this function create box, which just creates the main box. You're going to see a lot of these elves, else ifs state. You're going to see a lot of these ifs here, and it just repeats. Honestly, that's, that it's, it's for this. It's, it's for this, this thing up here. So yeah. So this basically just creates the box, you know, the same, same thing as the code. A lot of this code is just adapted from the old version, just made it a little bit better. If so, then right here we create the title. Three things going on once again. Not the best programming here because I rushed this in like a day. When I say a day, I mean like a couple of hours. So, yeah. Uh, so you can see it just makes the song name. Uh, this one right here is mainly for just so we can get the name. I could easily fix it, but uh, it's better to be redundant than be clean right now. Okay, so this is probably the worst thing I could have ever done here. I'm going to be honest. Do not look at me for good code. Look at me for customizable shit. So, uh, this, so I can't normally do the number thing with dictionaries in Lua because... I love FNF Lua. It's so amazing. Sarcasm. But so basically all this does is just gets the table length and that's it. And just tells you how many lengths there are so you can 
you know, do it. So, yeah, that's all it is. It, this is used later. I'll show you where. So on create post, this is our big thing that everything uses. If you don't have this line, if you destroy this line, your entire thing breaks. I'm, I'm not even kidding. So, so I'm going to not go through all this just because it's pretty repetitive but right here here's the thing so this is going to be your y spacing this is just telling you how <clears throat> what the y spacing needs to be in your credits so if get table length credit table is one it just sets it to 70 because it looks really weird due to math because it's going to be positioned at y value 115 inside the box so you so you you get what i'm saying so if get table length, okay, yeah, we already went over that. So then for IV and pairs credit table, this just goes through everyone. Then we're gonna do local name credit, <coughs> credit I. So in lieu when you have an I, so let's go back up here. When you're going through a thing, you would, I is its number and V is its value. Uh, with dictionaries, you have a custom index. So, it, so instead of using one, two, three, four, or zero, one, two, three, if you're using an objectively better language, you would <clears throat> that would be your indexes, the numbers. But in a dictionary, you can have custom indexes. That's why it's called a dictionary. So, so it's gonna make it the name. So, like credit composer, credit artist, etc. You get what I'm saying. Uh, make Lua text. So it's just going to make the label name. <clears throat> so it tells you which one it's going to. Uh, then it's going to put the V here. So that's the thing. And then just a lot of math to make sure it's placed in the right way. All that. Uh, this is more math to make sure the size is accurate. Uh, and then just a lot of other things. <clears throat> so that's the main thing. Uh, right here is where we do all the tweens and stuff. Uses the same exact. Uses the same exact uh, idea from up here with the four I loops and stuff. Uh, pretty simple, honestly. If uh, remember, this is downloadable. So if you want to go take in a deep dive for yourself instead of me skipping over it, go ahead. And this and this runs the timer. Uh, this is just uh, just once again because in case if you're running this on a song that you don't have the thing for, it's gonna just put in five seconds automatically. And yeah, so yeah, on timer completed. This just tweens it back in. Once again, same thing. Uh, and all that. So that is the technical explanation. Uh, and now it's once again really simple. If you just, all you gotta do is just put your songs right here in the thing, and then you can change it however you like. If you have any questions, you can DM me on Twitter, which is Alice.Lua, Game Banana on Watashi, Discord Alice.Lua too. So that should be it. Uh, thank you guys for using it and. Thank you guys for using it, and uh, if you have any questions, just DM me. I will be happy to help. Uh, thank you for watching. That's what I was going to say. Thank you for watching, and thank you, using for, and thank you for using my script. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go publish this now. Uh, goodbye, guys.